Do you need a bigger dining table for Thanksgiving but don't have a leaf in your table? That is our problem. We are gonna show you how we hacked a larger table for under 50 bucks. Yay, a lot of people, a lot of family. We're excited. <laughs> Hey Remodelaholics, welcome back to our DIY channel. Justin and Cassidy here. There are only four of us at home normally and this table setup works perfectly and if you'll notice, this table does not have a leaf. So that's a problem for Thanksgiving where we have 25 people coming. Okay, first of all to begin with, I bought a Grip It rug mat. This is a three by five. I couldn't find a four by six. They didn't have that size. So $10. Now in the past we have used just strips of it, but for this tutorial we decided we would just cover the whole table. This is the rug gripper and we're gonna put it on the table. Lovely, you're done. I'm kidding, you're not done. So I went to the store and I bought something big. We're gonna carry it in. Okay, so this is a 4x8 sheet of plywood. Do not buy OSB for this project. That stuff stinks to high heaven. You just need to be careful about all the solvents and glues that are in those products. So um, keep that in mind. So we're putting this on the table. Because we have that rug gripping pad, it doesn't move at all. We need to center it on the table. The original table is 40 inches by 70, but now we have it 48 by 96. So that is 12 people at this table. How much did this plywood cost? $40. It's a cabinet grade plywood, so it's nice and flat. It's a little bit more expensive than the other stuff. A couple other thoughts with this. You could go with a cheaper plywood. Um, you may need to secure a 2x4 to the corner just through the top with some screws into um, a leg that's cut to the same height of your table. So that is a good idea if you have a really, really small table. Like our table actually isn't very small. So I'm not worried about the board tipping because it's so supported and it, it can't slide because of the rug ripper. When we do our serving of Thanksgiving, we don't always serve it at the table because there are so many of us, we do kind of more buffet style. You know, if you're offended by that, don't do it. And another thing that we tend to do is move out that console table and just put it in a back room while we have the family over because getting things out of the space to create more room makes it a little easier. I don't expect you to store a four by eight sheet of plywood year round. You can use this for this project today and then you can make something out of it. We actually have tons of plywood builds. We'll link to it up here. There'll be a little dot that comes up and goes like that if you wanna see any of our plywood projects. Okay, so I actually have a random drawer of party supply stuff. So I have two of these 54 by 96 inch regular table covers. We're gonna put them on the plywood to protect the wood so that we can use it for other projects. Nobody ever spills at Thanksgiving. No so. one, especially not but our kids. just in case. You can get like 99 cent plastic tablecloths. And I'm doing white so it doesn't show through. Now that we have the disposable plastic tablecloths on the table, we are going to put tablecloths on the table. So I bought two oblong tablecloths that are 60 by 84 and I am going to put them sideways on the table, so there will be a seam down the middle of the table. If that bothers you, I'm sorry. Let's try this and then you can kind of just, I'm not sure this is gonna work with this. It works really well with the cotton, but. Okay, so the Iron Man has arrived. We're gonna have to uh, bring out the big guns, flatten this out. We ended up having to iron the tablecloths so I did iron about 10% of it. He did, so I'm giving him credit for doing all the ironing. I stuck a runner on, I took another burlap runner, gathered it up, and I used the pumpkins. Well, what do you think? The table's a lot bigger. We do this hack whenever we have a lot of people over, so we also do it when we're decorating for gingerbread houses or graham cracker houses that we tend to make. Candy houses. Yeah, with the nieces and nephews. Are you hosting Thanksgiving and how many people do you plan on having come to your house? 
After Thanksgiving, what are you going to build with your plywood? You gonna build a bench or something for your loved one? Be sure to like this video. And subscribe. That's if you liked it, of course. Oh, no. Just like it because you're nice. We will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye, guys.